A team of more than 100 wildlife biologists have a big task on their hands, locating and moving scores of desert tortoises in the way of a $2.1 billion solar project in the deserts of northeastern San Bernardino County. Bright Source Energy is constructing the array of solar panels on a track covering 5.6 square miles. When completed, the project could produce 380 megawatts of power. But first, the endangered tortoises must be located and moved. It's constructing the tower, which is right next to it on the right. Okay. And uh, the, what, are mount, what mountains are these? That's the Clark Mountains? Yeah, the big one's called Clark Mountain, and the rest is called the Clark Mountain Range. Okay, now we're entering the protected area for tortoises. This is a tortoise guard. This is tortoise fencing. Okay. We'll see a lot more of that. Lots so over here, that. over here is the um, uh, project areas where, where you see the crane. And then more, more work going on over here. And tortoises are being gathered in these areas and they're eventually going to be released to this side of the valley where at the, we're at the Foot that go that goes to the edge of the Clark Mountains. As you can see, this is like the same habitat, basically uh, high quality um, creosote plant community that they prefer because they feed on the desert dandelions and other annuals that grow right below these creosote bushes. The solar field. And it's been divided in half, so the, the west half of Unit 2 has already been cleared with three passes by biologists. Every burrow has been dug up, uh, and they, the company is ready to start construction over in this half. Of the, in the east half, they're making the final pass now, the third time through spaced uh, 15 feet apart. Uh, and that's in that, that big field over there, huh? Just go up and back. Or, yeah, behind the fence. And, they, and they're just basically walking grids. Oh, they're walking grids, and they're digging up every burrow, every road and toll to see if there's any tortoises in it. So tortoises have been moved out of these two uh, parts of Unit 2 and are residing in the tortoise pens. Where are the pens? The pens are over here. Yeah, the pens are this complex uh, in front of us here. Uh, some of the pens are shaded where juveniles are, are put. Okay. Biologists found plenty of tortoises, but not all of them were in the project area. Those animals were left alone. The tortoises that were in the project area were, of course, relocated. Well, what did they do when they find one? Uh, when they find one, they will call uh, our tortoise handlers, and uh, it depends on what stage of the clearance we're doing. Um, the tortoise may go directly to a pen or it might get a transmitter to be found later to be removed and we want to put them in captivity as short a period of time so okay so they go so they go to pens that are kind of way over that way that's right and then and then this spring uh they're going to be real why don't you explain what happens this spring uh i'm not going to speak to the actual timing of it because that's okay uh, well eventually okay. eventually okay uh, we will translocate them to um, an area we've determined out here adjacent to the site, um, the recipient area, and we want to move the tortoises as short a distance as possible from where we found them. So depending on where they were located on site will dictate where they are released off the site, but um, we want to move them very close because they will tend to want to return to where they came from, and mm -hmm. so we don't want them to traverse great distances after we release them.